Hey, what's up team? This is Julian here with another hopefully quick tutorial on how to make table tents in Microsoft Word. You may ask, what's a table tent? This is a table tent. Isn't that lovely? Um, it's a name tag. It's a table tent. It's a name tag. It's a table tent. It's, you can basically use it in your small groups. You can use it for anything. You can use it for a name tag. You can use it to label your groups. Um, so this is how you do it. Let's get to it. So how you do it, let's get to it. Basically, this is the end result, okay? So your document should look like this. So let's reverse engineer this document. So basically what you have, you have three, you have two text boxes, one, two, and you have an image. Three, let's bring that back, okay? So let's, you have one image, one, two text boxes. Okay. So I'm just going to delete it. I just want to touch it so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So let's start from scratch. Click on new document. First thing you want to do because you're going to have a new document, you're going to basically change the orientation. So click on the tab called page layout. Click on page orientation. Change the landscape. Go back click on margins click on narrow that's just a preference you don't have to do it but that's just a preference preference so you want to insert a text box so you go to the insert tab you scroll over the text box you click on text box you go down to the bottom where it says draw text box and down at the bottom of your document you draw a text box this is the bottom okay then you start typing guided reading awesome so now you have your document now you have to play with it you have to change the font let's start with a hundred see what that looks like uh that's cool i'm gonna change it to this font um what's next let's move the text box over just a little bit it's a nudge okay so now i don't like this line around this text box so what i do click on the outside of the text box click up here to the format tab Scroll over to shape fill. Say no fill. Scroll over to shape outline. Say no outline. Voila! My outline is now has now disappeared. So now I need an image. So let's go to the internet. Internet real quick, bring that over. Go to Google. Let's look for a book. Type in books. Okay. Now one thing when you're typing, you don't want clip art, so type PNG. Okay? It gives you a different type of image. That's another lesson. So let's click on something cute. Um, not something too big. Ooh, too many choices, too many choices. Okay, great. Mm, I don't like that either. Okay, so right click the image. Copy the image. Get out of the internet. Right click, paste the image. Great. So now we, now as you can see, I tried to drag the image. I can't move it because I have to change the format. So click on format. Click on text wrap. Click on in front of text. Now I can move that baby around. So now it's kind of too big. So let's bring down the text to about 90. Awesome. Squeeze that baby in there. Squeeze that baby in there. So now we have guided reading with the image. Now we need one more text box. Draw text box. Let's draw a small one right here. Basically, I need it to say group A. Okay. Highlight. Go to home. Uh, let's change the font. Group A. Now again, the box is there. How do you take it off? Do you remember? Go to format, shape outline, no outline, shape fill, no fill. Awesome. Okay. Now, this is the bottom of my table tent. I need to flip it around. So basically, you copy each object, copy, paste, swing it up, click here. This allows you to rotate the object around boom beautiful love it 
scroll up bring this up a little bit more okay text box same thing copy right click paste scroll up turn it around beautiful bing bring it up okay a mirror image so now we need to this is a little tricky but it's fun right click copy click somewhere off the page paste bring the image over here but we need to turn the image around so we flip it once ooh that's nice then we flip it again ooh that's better all right all right all right got it reading and voila we now have an image we now have a table tent when we fold it it will look like this it will look like this thanks team i hopefully that helped you if you have any questions make sure you come and see me love you bye